What's up, everybody? It is the Big Game Hunter here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Frogger the Great Quest. Anyways, in the last episode, we made it through Rivertown and made it to Slick Willie's Riverboat. In this episode, we are going to be talking to said Slick Willie. So, without further ado, let us just talk to him. My princess, you say? Yep. Oh, please tell me where the princess is. The River Princess? Shut up, Cole. Stop being sarcastic. Can I meet the princess? You want to see the River Princess? Cold, I swear I will turn you into a belt if you stop being sarcastic. Unless you don't... Uh, blah, 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 blah. What standing on it, silly? What? She's my ship. Get it? Ow. Joke. Ow. 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 Joke. Can you ow. Can help me find a princess? Gee, I've heard of a fairy princess near Rivertown. You're not gonna have to worry about her. Told you better not. Why not? Because you're staying for lunch. But I'm not hungry. Nah, eh, yeah, right. Oh, well, that's okay. Frogs taste good whether they're hungry or not. Whoa! Back off, Gator Breath. I'm not your lunch. Come on. Cold, you back better not come back. anywhere near me. I swear you I will beat you my with my frog fool. Cold, cold, back off, cold, 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 get away from me. Ow! Okay, fine. You want a piece of me? Fine. Now, a good way to uh, fight Slick Willy here. Uh, get on these boxes, and he cannot get you. Yet, you can get him by spit. Is that not even working? Alright. Uh, uh, let's try and freeze him, see if we can get him in place and a few blows. Nope. Alright, well, just beat the living crap out of him then. Ha! Take this, Cole. This is where we're making super cold world. Wow! You done whoop me good, boy. So where do I go anyway? Now just plop on down that there smokestack, hop in my speedboat, and fire that puppy up. You'll be in Rivertown before you know it. Gotcha. Thanks for the tip. I believe in the PC version of this game, there was actually a cutscene where um, uh, Slick Willy talks with one of the cats about the goblins being in River... Uh, not River Town. Wait. Um, yeah, River Town. What am I thinking? Um, but for some reason, they cut out the PS2 version. I don't know. Anyways, you saw what um, uh, concept art, I guess. So we got Slick Willy. Who is the owner of Riverboat? You want to read the bios? Just pause the video, as always. And I decided to go differently and not choose character concept. I used just decide because someone's probably gonna get mad that I didn't choose a level concept. Here is your level concept. Really, it's nothing important. Just gives you like a little brief thing about what you did there. But without further ado, let us just continue on with our great quest. No, no, I did wait, yeah, might as well save. Alright, save complete. Boy, this game has a lot of loading time. I really, really hate loading time. It's probably one of the worst things you could ever put into a game. I know loading is mandatory to get everything ready, but it doesn't have to take this long. Mr. Cole? I'm talking to a drunken turtle. Something is wrong here. What you looking for? Can you help me find a princess? Sorry, there's no princess here. Rivertown was a great place before the goblin horde passed through. Great! More goblins! Not many people left around here, except me and a sick fairy over the mayor's house. The whole place what? is mostly deserted now. But the goblin locked the sick fairy up in that house, and I can't get him out! Poor fairy! I've been looking everywhere for the key! That key's probably hidden up high someplace! I'll look for the key! Alright, I'll find the key! Alright, so welcome to Rivertown. 
the area where we finally get introduced into the goblins. The goblins, I'll say right now, they're not that much of a threat. See, this one is, they're pretty slow, and except for one goblin, it's actually pretty fast, but it's the weakest of the bunch. And the, something else again, the goblins actually run away from you. I mean, they're supposed to be like this big thread plaguing the land, and they're running away from a frog that stands no more than, what, four feet tall? Uh, what does that to say? Keep River Town clean. Eh, not really. Alright, so, anyways, we got to find said sick fairy, but I will be doing a bit of exploring just to look around. Just to show, flush out some of the levels, because I know a lot of people get are probably mad at me because I don't show the levels off so much. As I said before, this is this is not 100%. I'm only doing this my way, just so that I don't have to do this hellhole ever again and make it even longer than- Whoa! Get away from me! Ah! Bad combat! Stop kicking him in the shin and punch him! What'd you just say? Ah, eh, whatever. Uh, let's just keep moving on. Uh, and... Hmm, nothing. No oh! Oh, hello! Uh, you wouldn't happen to know the way out of town, would you? No? Okay, I'll just go ask someone else. Well, what's that? You want to kill me? Uh, yeah, let me get a good look at you guys. If you're going to swing your taxes, you're going to swing straight at my face. Actually, better yet, don't do that. Again, these guys are no threat whatsoever because of how slow they move. You can literally take them down with your spit at a good distance. Ow. Alright, fine. You want to fight rough? Fine, I will fight rough. Is he saying colon crasher? I, I didn't know I was crashing people's colons. Uh, this store is pretty much useless. You cannot do anything about it. Don't know why this store is here in the first place. It would be just better just to have the air area just completely sealed off. Uh, the goblins with the swords and shields, they do move a bit faster, but I believe they're weaker than the ones with the axes. Uh, I also believe that they're actually weaker, because, well, actually, no. I think these guys are actually a bit stronger. Ah, whatever. Why am I talking about this game in great detail? I don't even like this game that much. How dare you almost give me a heart attack? I also think something else that always gets under my skin about this game is the fact that you have to go hunting for enemies if you want to get all the collectible, all the um, uh, currency in this game. Again, currency is completely pointless. Why bother getting it? But the thing is, I don't know. It just seems weird that every enemy in this game always has a piece of money tucked away underneath Hello, their belt. Mr. Can... Oh. Alright, so it seems the ferry is sick, and that's the mayor's residence, so, but we cannot get inside because, well, of course, the um, door is locked. So, I bet you're wondering, where is the key? Well. I'm gonna say right now, and pardon my language right here, but the developers of this game probably put the key in the most retarded area they could find. Now you might think, oh, they probably put the key over where those boxes are. You know, someplace that looks like where you would probably hide a key in. Mosquito, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Let me sp I can't spit. Look at this. My spit is going through his skull. Oh, now, now you hit him. So I'll just ignore him. But anyways, I was saying, you might think, oh, they probably put the keys over there near a box or in a box. Well, you would be completely wrong and banished an idiot. Because the smart place to put a key is tucked all the way up there, barely visible from where you can see everything else. 
because that's the smart place to put a key. I know it's trying to add challenge and force the player to actually explore the level to try and find it until they realize it's right there. Stupid. Anyways, everyone, brace yourselves for meeting the most terrifying looking character in this game. Look at him! Ah! Fairy Town. Oh, that's original. Whoa! Uh, I was always talking about, here's these little goblins that are actually really fast, and am I even doing any damage to you? But yeah, are you even doing any damage to me? Ow! Oh, jeez! Combat is so broken in this game. It's right over here. There's a batch of clovers over here. But of course, as in true video game fashion, it is always up at the highest point, because apparently that's where they grow best. And what are you doing underwater? How can you swim in? Frogger, get up there! Frogger! 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 Jump, boy! And before you ask, no, I do not know why this guy is wearing a World War I German helmet. Uh, I'm almost dead. Combat, you, why do you suck so much? Alright, I'm not even going to fight anything else. I'm just going to run because I really don't want to reload a save. And I'm going to try my best to make this a no-death run of this game. But sooner or later, something's probably going to screw me over. It. Like that fish over there that I better get out of the water before it gets just me. Run! What is he doing over there? Huh. Jeez, will you just get up there, platforming? Why do you suck if your game's a platformer? There we go, thank you. All right, up here, and we get the brown clover. No, Frogger, that is a shamrock. I don't know what that's pretty much the same thing. What am I talking about? This game is just driving me insane. I need to end this soon. Uh, the only way to get those was to have that barrel, but I destroyed it, so don't bother. All right, let's just head up here. Oh, I didn't know I could roll. Huh. Hey, you learn something new every day. You know what good it's going to me. Okay, please just don't go anywhere near the camera. Thank you. Now... We have to follow him, and I'm not gonna say that following characters is not the worst thing. Uh, it's pretty bland, because you pretty much can expect where the exit is, and where'd he go? Where'd he go? What the heck is he doing flying in circles out there? Whatever. Uh, it, the, it, following them is pretty much pointless. I mean, sure, it's to show you the way out and all this stuff, but really, if you take a good look at this level, you can already tell where the exit is. I mean, over here is where the exit is. But of course, you, just by looking at this level, you could tell this is the exit. Alrighty. See you later, frog boy. <sighs> so let us just hop the mushrooms. Can I grab this and not fall into the water? Thank you. I will say that, at least following him, it's not as mundane and boring as following another certain character we will be running into in this game. Because, oh boy, does that character slow. 
So, let's get a move on. Alright, so, 975, not bad at all. As if I really care, I mean, I still hate this game. Okay, so we got the snakes, Rivertown and Scat. You know what, I will do this and this, because I feel like it. And don't even start criticizing me, because I feel like something. Alright, so it's VR Collection, get a new concept we got, and then I think we'll call it a part. So, here we have snakes. As you can see, uh, nothing much, just snakes. Again, if you want to just read the bios, just pause the video and you can continue on reading, like anyone probably does. Uh, here's the cat that we were talking about that was playing card games. That was probably the most epic and awesome thing ever. Alright, so I think that's going to do it for this part. Next time on Let's Play Frogger the Great Quest, we will be continuing on through Mushroom Valley and in hopes of finding said fairy town to get the heck out of this nightmarish game. I don't know why I'm talking like this. I better end this off. See you guys next time later.